Well, hello, goodbye, little corn dog nuggets. It's me, not Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. It's me, Carl. It's opposite. We're doing the opposite thing still. <laughs> Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends. Talk about Jesus and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Pro TV. Well, well, well. That's three wells. Math. Hello. Welcome to the greatest TV show on this little planet. What can I like to call planet? And boy, oh boy, do we have a show for you. Now, I was doing my research last night when I came across this amazing fact. Multiple crazy facts, actually. Like, for example, did you know that nostrils only work one at a time? Isn't that wacky? Go on, try it. It's impossible. Or did you know that Scotland's national animal is a unicorn? Really? I ain't joking. Google it. Go on. I'm kidding. Put your phone down, you little rascal. But what fact really blew my mind is that people all around the world believe in something that they can't see. You hear how ridiculous that sounds? I mean, imagine being a person who believes in things I can't see. <laughs> how weird of a person would you have to be? Carl! <laughs> oh, hey, Andy. How you doing? Good, man. Just hoping to talk to someone who doesn't believe in things they don't see. <laughs> Andy, that's exactly what we're talking about. No way, that's crazy. Also, Carl, how can you possibly believe just because you can't see something that isn't real? That makes no sense at all. Because that's the truth. Name one thing that I believe in that I can't see. Okay, um, feelings. <laughs> Those ain't real. Okay, uh, Carl, I think you smell like day old cereal and your sweaters are ugly. Did that hurt your feelings? Feelings? What feelings? There's no feelings over here. Okay, uh, what about gravity? <laughs> if gravity were real, would this happen? Okay, next one. How about air? <laughs> air? Air? I'll show you air. And you're gonna pass out three, two, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else you got? All right, uh, how about Jesus? Jesus? Of course Jesus is real. So you've seen Jesus? Pictures and paintings. Oh, but you've touched Jesus. With my beautiful words of prayer, probably. Carl. What are you getting at, Andy? Easy. I'm just saying you may have it all wrong about this whole see it to believe it thing. What makes you so sure? Because it sounds like the opposite should be true. Believe only what you can see. But that's where faith comes in. What do you mean? Faith, it's the confidence in what we hope for. It doesn't have to be seen. Now, let's look at the transfiguration. The transfigure what -y? The transfiguration, it's in Luke chapter nine. All right, what happened? Well, Jesus took Peter, James, and John up to a mountain to pray. Sounds pretty normal. And when Jesus began to pray, his face changed. Not so normal. And his clothes became as bright as lightning. Yeah, this isn't normal. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, Elijah and Moses magnificently showed up right before them. Wait, Moses and Elijah? Like the prophets Moses and Elijah. Like, didn't they die like a long time ago? What's happening? So Peter got all nervous, right? He started talking and talking, and then suddenly God spoke and says this, this is my son whom I have chosen. Listen to him. Wow, I cannot imagine being there with the disciples and the prophets and Jesus. Imagine getting to be with Jesus all the time. How cool would that be? Right? I mean, think about it, Carl. What would you do if Jesus was with you all of the time? Oh man, what wouldn't I do? If I knew Jesus, the creator of the world, the savior of all humanity, was with me, Carl, forever? I'd chase my dreams. I'd stand up for what's right. I'd be the bravest and most honorable man and the most humble man to ever live. Okay, well, I have very good news. Is it Bean's Day again? No, the good news is that Jesus is with you forever. All of the time. What are you talking about? You see, even though the disciples saw miracles and the transfiguration, they never truly understood who Jesus was. Jesus didn't just suddenly become God's son. He always was. But it was on that mountain that those three disciples knew for sure. They saw the truth with their own eyes. Uh, but I wasn't on the mountain, Andy. How does that work for me? That's where faith kicks in. No, we don't see Jesus with our own eyes, but because of what the Bible tells us, we can believe that he is real, that he is God's son, and that he will always be with us. 
I mean, I've always believed in Jesus, but I've never known what to say to people who ask for proof of Jesus. So I made a hologram of Jesus, but it really didn't seem to help. It actually kind of confused him. Oh, uh, that's, wow, I'm shocked. That's actually like a really good depiction of, yeah. Cool though, right? The moves. Really good. I know, right? I guess I could talk to them about having faith though, right? Of course, our faith will become stronger and stronger the more we come to realize that just because we don't see Jesus doesn't mean he's not with us all of the time. Hi kids! Wow, what a cool story, right? And it brings us to such a cool big idea, which is... Um, Jada? Hey, Carl. What's up? It, it's just that, like, since it's, like, opposite day, and, like, it's just... Well, um... We want to do the big idea! Oh, psh, of course! Be my guest. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Okay, what are we supposed to say? <clears throat> Today's big idea is... Today's big idea is... Jesus... Jesus is with us is with us even though even though we can't see him nailed it <laughs> great work okay let's say it out loud with the kids all right ready i'm gonna count the opposite way this time three two one jesus, jesus is, is with us even though, even though we can't, we can't see, see him, him. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> now that wraps up this week's episode of grow tv but I can't wait to see you on our next one, okay? I'll see you then. Bye. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow.